Well, good day, everybody. Today, I figured I'd bring you along on making some brown sugar cured Canadian bacon. So, when you make this, everybody's going to think that you are an iron chef or something, that you are able to transform this delicious, you know, piece of lean meat. And what I have here, when I say lean, I have half loin, boneless pork loin roast. So, you're going to need mm, about three to four pounds. So, I have a little bit more than that. I have about five and a half pounds here, according to what the label says here. So, I'm going to be able to do something else out of this roast besides just make the Canadian bacon that we're going to be making. So, like I said, we're going to be needing three to four pounds of our pork loin roast here. And then on top of that, we're going to be needing three quarts of water, one and a half cups of packed brown sugar, and then three-fourths cups of uh, kosher salt. And then you're going to need a fourth of a cup of the sage leaves. And then you're going to need two tablespoons of thyme. And then we're going to need of the pink curing salt that I have here in this little container. That you're going to be needing three and a half teaspoons. And then we're going to be needing one tablespoon of the crushed red pepper. And last, we'll be needing one tablespoon of the garlic powder. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to trim the excess fat, fat off of our pork you know, roast here. You don't want to sit there and have too much on it. You know, the rest of it. I'm going to be cutting off the fat that you see here. And after I remove all the fat, we'll be back and we'll continue on with our Canadian bacon uh, recipe brine that we're going to be making. All right, I got most of the fat off. I put that all on the pile so we can discard that. I have what we're going to now have as our Canadian bacon. And here's our pork chops. Okay, I'm back for our next step. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have a food grade container which I have here and what we're going to put inside that is three quarts of water so I'm going to put another three quarts of water or another two quarts And then you're going to want to have one and a half cups of packed brown sugar. And then three fourths cup of kosher salt.
and then one fourth cup of the sage leaves. And then two tablespoons of thyme. And then we're going to need three and a half teaspoons of the pink curing salt. And I'll show you what type I use. I use the backwoods here. Okay. I said three and a half teaspoons. One. Two. Three, and a half. And then we're going to want one tablespoon of the garlic powder. And then one tablespoon of the crushed red pepper. And then get yourself a nice wooden spoon and stir that all up to help dissolve the sugar and the salt. And just keep mixing it to help dissolve the you know, sugar and the salt into the brine. And as soon as we get that all dissolved in together, that's when we're going to be putting in the pork loin roast into the brine solution. Okay, our sugar and our salt has all dissolved in our brine and it is time for us now to add the pork loin roast to the brine. So let's go ahead and let's do that.
Okay, we're going to sit there and now put the cover on this. And then we're going to sit there and chill this for 72 hours. And we're going to turn it twice each day. So we'll be back in 72 hours. Okay, our 72 hours are up. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the pork from the brine. We're going to discard the brine. And then after we get the meat out of the brine, we're going to pan it dry with some paper towel. So let's go ahead and let's remove. be back after I'm all done patting this dry. Okay, I'm just about done. And as it, as you can see, I put this roast on a, like a roasting rack. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to place this back into the refrigerator uncovered for at least eight hours and after eight hours we'll be back and we'll be in the smoking process of making bacon okay we're an hour and a half into our smoking and I'm just going to check it just so we're on the safe side. My baby slicing up the Canadian bacon. Aww. Should we give the people a good handsome appearance of my little boy? My little millennial. My millennial honey. 